we just did hands up. Um, and again, it comes back to what I see when people are struggling in Night Living Dead uh, is what do I do, what do I do, how do I do it? One of the things Jim Maloney used to tell uh, Rick Bottomley back in the days he was training with him is keep turning the wheel. Okay? And what I mean by that is he throws this straight punch here, my hands are up. Okay, I got this hit, boom, that's great. Uh, now what? That's the next comment. Well, turning the wheel is rotation. Boom, 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 boom. All I do, okay, uh, throws that hook punch, I go here. Oh no, turn the wheel, turn the wheel, turn the wheel. All I do is turn the wheel and impact him every time I turn the wheel. I'm okay. Again, it throws this, I get here. Oh no, my hands are down. This is great. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Boom. Turn the wheel. Okay? You can't think of anything else to do this guy. Turn the wheel and smack him while you're doing it. Very simple. Because your follow-ups have to be continuous, they have to flow, and they have to be logical. If I go here like this, and I step back and throw a big punch there, there's no logic to it. But if I go here and I turn my wheel, boom, there's a flow and a logic to it. I didn't get the back. I didn't get everything. I have no real impact except a little turn here. He's already ready for his next move, but if I turn the wheel, I'm going to get my hit. So hands up, turn the wheel. Two very simple pieces of advice if you're not sure what to do. Okay. Once you start to learn this stuff and it becomes second nature, you're going to find that there is a better flow to what you want to do. Hands up, turn the wheel.